Well, I think the arts in general like offers something that first appeals to a, a, a segment of teen population that a lot of times sports and other act activities like extracurricular stuff doesn't appeal to. And I think the arts also, um, like the aforementioned outlet for some negative things that our students encounter. I will just pull up every time because our student section with him a roar. Kindness and support rather than distance and, and tearing each other down. But also just like furthering the arts in our school makes for more creative, more, I, I don't know, big idea students. Students that um, have an opportunity to vent their creativity in a number of different ways. I think it's a big development thing for kids this age. Like it gives them this opportunity to develop and gain confidence in that creative piece and share more and in that way they help other students and themselves. I feel like if I can get my voice out and my story out that I can help other people like you guys help me and him and everybody else that came up here today. It helped me because everything that like you guys said is really relatable to my life and it helps me to like just focus on what you say and make make me feel like I can actually reach the top. Yet, I'm scared. Scared that the winded voice in my ear that whispers I love you will fade away with everything that has ever meant something to me. In the moments that I live with this beating heart, that beat will sink along with every motion that has ever stepped foot into this empty theater. Uh, kind of, a, or we're getting a bad rap. We're getting beat up in the press, you know, uh, you know, teachers and salaries and, you know, the uh, meep scores and all that, you know, everything that, that you hear is, is, you know, all in, in kind of a negative uh, aspect. And so to be able to do something like this and be able to show something to our students, uh, I think Marcel, uh, when he, he gave his first little intro, was, was right on the mark. You know, it doesn't matter where you come from, your, your family situation, your, your economy, you know, you have a story to tell. I would love to extend my entire spoken poetry and poetry skills because I love writing, but I've always been scared to go out there. Like I was told it was a hobby and it's not something that you could make a career. Well, I've been through pretty much anything you could possibly name and it's, I've been through depression and a lot and I never really was able to talk to anyone because I couldn't really talk at all, you know, because, but once I write, just writing, it's just, you become someone else. You don't have to, like, there's no limit on what you can do with writing. And you hit. Didn't you know you haunt my head? Didn't you know that you were the monsters under my bed instead of protecting me? You are the haunting shadows that follow me everywhere I go. Ooh. Sports are great, but sports only impact a certain segment of the population. And, you know, my job as a building principal is to provide an overall experience for every kid. Every kid who walks through these doors should be feel free to um, feel comfortable, feel safe that they're here, but also that they're going to be exposed to something that they're interested in. With our curriculum director, he was able to come up with what he referred to as an innovation grant to get something different that we can't have within our building. And so with that, we were able to finance getting the diatribe here. I think it's important because people go through a lot of stuff and then being able to talk and get everything out will help them like be more successful. You put your mind to it, you can do it. Like, don't let other people tell you, oh, it's just a dream that you can't do it because you always can do it. At our arts festival, um, after the presentations assemblies today, we're going to take probably 60 students from our middle school and high school population, and those students will be treated to a workshop after school, 12 weeks worth of um, kind of focusing in on what it is that they want to write about, what they want to express, polishing that up and presenting that at our arts festival as part of it. And they're going to get up on stage and share their writings. Everybody goes through stuff, everybody has issues, things like that, and that you're going to be okay. Everybody's going through it and you have people that you can rely on, people you can talk to, stuff like that. Because you know life's hard, you know, outside of, you know, the academic part of it. You know, high school is a tough time, you know, four years, you're a lot of things going through, family problems, uh, stress, anxiety, depression, stuff like that. So it's great to have assemblies like that and people to come in, let us know that everybody's going through this stuff and we're going to be all right together. Politics, I do this 
cause I love it And if I walk away, that means they took the love from it They worry who the best is, that's your own perception F the ones you love, cause you obsessed with who the best is What happened to integrity, what happened to the love Everybody's so serious, nobody having fun Everybody mysterious, nobody you can trust No limits on what they do, cause they just wanna get the buzz But I get it, we all not in it for the same thing Some people for the love and most people just for the fame Remaining who you are is important that you don't change It's easy to sell your soul and become victim to the game They say you need a machine to get people to listen I say it's hard work and making sure that you're persistent But I'm done here, I hope I made myself clear